بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. My name is Zaina Sayed. I'm 16 years old and I'm the founder of Femstem Robotics. So Femstem was an idea that was uh, in conception for a long time. It was never, you know, always going to be a Muslim girls robotics like scholarship program or I started thinking along the lines of how can I see more minority girls in robotics competitions and in STEM classes? How can I see more, you know, yeah, brown girls, black girls, uh, Latina girls, anything like that? But um, it turned into a Muslim girls effort because that's, you know, that's the community I wanted to target first and foremost because that's my community. My name is Anissa and I'm 12 years old. Zainab and I'm 11 years old. My name is Sara and I'm 13 years old. My name is Sedma and I'm 13. My name is Amina and I'm 11 years old. My name is Sara and I'm 12 years old. My name is Zaina and I'm the founder of FEMSAM! You have to be a, uh, a leader in your community, you have to serve your community. And I, you know, started to think along the lines of this is a way I could be serving my Muslim community while doing the teaching work that I want to. The team was taught with the NXT Mindstorms robotics kit and programming software. They needed to develop enough familiarity with this platform to apply it in preparation for their competition. They learned about visual programming with NXT, basic robot design, use of robotic sensors, and real-life applications of robotics. One of the missions is to um, provide food to all the animals on the course, so we're trying to find an efficient way to, provide, uh, to like, use a mechanism to um, provide animals food. So it has to be like at a level that way you can like push past with force and then come back and forth. Oh. My name's Chazia, I'm Zena's mom. And I guess you could say I'm the adult chaperone for the FemSTEM robotics team. Zena was 10, her first robotics competition. Zena had a great day, the team was doing fine. And then at the end of the day, she went to the last round on the table with her robot, turned her robot on and nothing happened. And I was sitting in the bleachers and her instructors were next to her. And all I could see was that 10 year old with the gap teeth, straight bangs cut, just started crying. I felt so bad and I stopped myself from running down to you know, make her feel better. I was like, you know, this happens, she has to learn. The whole day was amazing. But we tried to make her feel better. We said, what do you wanna eat? We'll take you anywhere and nothing worked. She was so down that day. The reason I tell the other girls on her team that story is because if that day she had gotten disappointed because everything just failed after working for months, on, on the fall program, um, that would have been the end of that. And I told the girls on her FemSTEM team, maybe you wouldn't have been sitting here learning from her. Most teams are mostly boys. Now that I think of it, I've never seen uh, a FLL team with mostly girls. Like maybe those one or two girls. My team only had three. You can't just be with the same people over and over again. You have to like kind of open up. My name is Zed. I just turned 14 and I'm Zaina's other brother. She's been one of the biggest influences on what who I am as a person today. I really hope people will kind of have a more positive message at, of Muslims in America just because of um, what she's done. And I do think hopefully she can make a difference. Some people are categorizing all Muslims in a kind of negative way that definitely isn't accurate. She's really showing who we are, and it just so happens there's bad people in every religion. Food for thought, you guys. The last time you saw a Muslim woman on the news, what was it for? And like never for something good that's happening or something like good that they did. It's always for like um, mistaking her for like harming people or harassing people. Well, I always see that people misinterpret um, the women and also the men for like what they did. But then also sometimes they really do do it and this um, like um, scares some people and they misinterpret us, us like as a whole. People think that wearing hijab is like a burden on women, but then Muslim women actually wear the hijab representing their religion. So that men don't see them as an object, they see them as an actual person in their mind. This program would show how Muslim girls, especially as, as she said that Muslim women are portrayed as very oppressed, something like this would show that we are representing and we are strong and we are not like just closed up and that we are doing things that other people In a 
a country like America, the people can say things about you, people can talk about you, people can make fun of you, but yeah, you're walking with your head up and you're staying strong. You're, people respect you for having the strength and the modesty to just walk around and not fear or uh, be shy about what you're wearing. We're going to a robotics competition, we are going to interact with people face to face and they're gonna see us and they're gonna know that no, they're not they're not anything like what's on the news. Mm -hmm. They're like real people, they talk, they communicate and they're just like us. So we're as long as we keep going out and doing things and making sure they know that we are Muslim and doing this for like a good cause or something, then it's just better for us, more um, more exposure, but not in a way that it's controlled by media. <laughs> I have the same exact concerns as every other mom out there who is not the same religion. It's, are your kids safe? Or doing they, are they doing well in school? Are they eating healthy? Are they playing video games too much? It's just all the same. I thought, you know, don't get your hopes up or anything like that. Uh, they're a rookie team. You haven't been training them for that long. Nothing, you know, surprising or, uh, you know, crazy is going to happen. And then we're sitting there and they announce them as best overall team. We'll be advancing to Saturday's tournament. Okay, smile. Beautiful smile. No smiling. And smile.